Alright, uh, it's Atlip Clark, and this is going to be in response to Keith Twoof. And uh, just a comment and an add to um, some bits of information because he showed the Two Face thing and uh, the Day of Atonement, okay? And uh, the goats, okay? And a scapegoat, okay? He showed the scapegoat. People need to understand the Azazel ceremony, okay? This, because, okay, the occultists admit that most of the high up magic in the cult all comes from the Hebrew origins, okay? So a lot of this stuff that you see in occultic stuff is Hebrew, it's Hebrew stuff, it's just they twisted it to their own device. But the point is, I wanted to read this real quick, okay? After the feast... Of the first day of the seventh month, the Day of Atonement comes on the tenth day of the seventh month, re representing one of the most significant events in God's plan, an event most professing Christians do not understand. Although all other ho holy days are considered feast days, this day is observed as a fast day. Why is this so? In this section, we'll look at not only how God's people are to observe the Day of atonement today but also what the day really means in his plan okay they got a lot of questions see because this is about this is a study course okay from tomorrow's world what particular day is to be observed on the 10th day is it a day on which we are to afflict our souls and do we do work do not work whatsoever does god consider it very important instructing the following day how does david afflict his soul what is involved when we fast? Does fasting mean going without food and water? In ancient Israel, was the high priest supposed to make atonement for the nation once a year? When was this to occur? On this day were two goats brought before the door of the tabernacle. See, there's the two goats, later the temple. Were lots cast to determine what role each goat would play in the offering? See, like the politicians. Did they cast lots? Did it really ma that didn't really matter? Just they, they cast a lot and they said, well, Trump or Clinton, whichever one. What happened to the goat chosen for the eternal? The goat chosen for the eternal was a type of foreshadowing of Christ, uh, Jesus Christ who offered himself for the sins of the world. The high priest in bringing the blood before the mercy seat was a type of the resurrected Christ who accepted before the throne of God. What happened to the goat chosen as the scapegoat? Note, the English word scapegoat originally meant the goat that escapes. It is an interpretation of the Hebrew word azazel used here. Jewish authorities, English language translations of scripture, such as the JPS version, retain azazel as a proper name because it is understood to refer to Satan. Okay... Will Satan, the author of sin, ultimately be taken by a mighty angel and put away where he can no longer deceive humanity? Revelation 21 through 3. Does the context of Revelation 20 demonstrate that this will occur shortly after Christ's return, which we, we saw in part 1, the lesson connected with the Feast of Trumpets? Note, in the ceremony carried out annually on the Day of Atonement, the goat chosen for the Lord was offered as a sacrifice for sins, while the goat chosen to represent Azazel had the sins of the nation placed upon its head and was taken to a desolate area away from human habitation. Was pride the original sin that turned Lucifer into Satan? When we humble our souls with fasting on the Day of Atonement, we are not showing our rejection of one called king over the children of pride reject on the day of atonement we are not showing our rejection of the one king over all of the children of pride note when we compare isaiah and revelation we see that leviathan is used as a metaphor for satan the devil okay that is weird it says it says, uh, we, on the, when we humble our souls with fasting on the Day of Atonement, we are not showing our rejection of the one called King over all the children of pride. Well, who are those children of pride? Are those the 
disobedient children or those the Israelites? Anyway, we've got this to read, and this is a pretty good stuff, understanding the Azazel ceremony. This ties into Trump and all the occult mysticism because they like to do this. They, they keep these customs, but they twist them. We know that. Uh, Hebrew, all high up magic and occult stuff originated from the Hebrew uh, uh, Adamic race. Okay, because they were the ones that mostly connected with the understanding God, Adam's race. Yes, Adam's race and the Kenites, and they took it and ran, ran with it. But I'm going to read this on the next one, okay? So, understanding the Zazel ceremony.